This is a how-to video on installing the SweetTech CR125 engine mount on a CR125 engine. This is part one of part two. The second segment is going to be installing the engine and the engine mount together on the chassis. So uh, stay tuned for that one. It'll be a separate video. So as you can see, our engine mount kit includes a rear upright, a front upright, a tie rod, bolts, butterfly clamps, and we offer the butterfly clamps in four different sizes. If you don't know what size your ch chassis is, then refer to our video on how to check your frame for the proper size to order the proper mount. And we also have the offset bushings. This one's for the front and this one's for the rear. This will allow you to move the engine to the left or to the right approximately eight millimeter. Tools needed for this project will include a 17 and a 19 millimeter wrench set, 17 and a 19 millimeter socket, torque wrench, five millimeter Allen, and an eight millimeter Allen wrench, flat blade screwdriver, and a soft mallet. And the use of an impact wrench would be helpful. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you have all the, the proper parts. If you haven't already looked at our other video on making sure the mount fits the frame properly, uh, refer to that video as well. So we're going to tighten the tie bar to the rear support first. Now you have to tighten this uh, immediately because once it's mounted on the frame you won't have the option to tighten it. The front bolt for the tie bar we are just going to lightly snug it. In fact we're going to do that with all the hardware in this installation. We're just going to lightly snug all the hardware. And the reason we're going to do this is so we can allow the mount to kind of take form of the chassis and with the slop in all the hardware, uh, the idea is to keep the engine as free as possible and not putting it in a pre-bind. So now we're going to have the spacer. Our spacers are designed to drop inside the rear case and then you slide in the tube and on the inside. And this is where the mallet's going to come in handy. Now you don't want to beat the mount on. It should be a nice, snug, almost a press fit. If for some reason you can't uh, kind of manhandle it on there, inspect the mount, inspect the cases for any damage. Some older cases may have some different spacing, so always be aware of that. But again, you don't want to beat anything on. It's just light taps. Now when you install your hardware into the engine mount, look at your frame, look at your seat. If you're using our fuel system or you're using different type of silencer mounts, you may have to swap the position of the bolt, but you also want to check for clearance of the chain. Now we're going to put the front portion through. You might want to take a note of the Swede Tech drain bolt at the bottom of the engine. The drain bolt will allow uh, easy removal of the drain plug if you offset the engine and in some cases the drain, the OEM bolt will be uh, too close to the frame rail and it doesn't allow for the socket to fully engage with the bolt. So again, light taps when you're installing the hardware. You don't want to beat on it. If something's not lined up properly, don't wail on it to try to force it through. And again, in this video, this is installing the engine mount to the engine. And we're leaving all of the hardware loose except for the rear six millimeter Allen bolt. That one was tight. But the engine mount hardware for the cases and the front tie rod bolt are all going to be loose. 
Now tune into our next video on mounting the engine mount with the engine to the chassis.